In this video, we're going to look at how you can create a new project in Pool Party. So you're here in the opening page, and you go over here to Project, and you do Create Project. And we're going to create a new project. So we click to that. Okay, so first we have to add the name, so we're going to call it Geographical Thesaurus project and the subject is going to be regions and places and the description of our project is that it is oops geographical regions and their relations and the author is me Gabby Nickus and we won't put this in right now we could do publisher contributor license etc so we don't go to create project yet, we go to the next step, which is languages. So in this project we're going to make it English and German, so you select those and add them over there. And there we are, and then we click next, and then our user groups. So this is our private user group, term for term management, so we'll select that. And now um, if we plan to link this project to other projects that we've got in Pool Party or in an open data setting, then we also need to select public. So we'll go ahead and select that for this. Then next we go to the advanced tab. Okay, and there's a few things we need to set up and change here. So you need to uh, decide what your base URL is going to be. Here they've got a default as um, Pilot 5 Pool Party. And when you do the quick guide, they have you change this to vocabulary.semanticweb80, um, which is Austria. So that's what we'll change it to. And then we're also going to change the project identifier, and this is um, what the URI that will get referenced on your on your concepts. So uh, for them, they've got you using this one, so we'll just use it for now. Uh, geographical source project, so we'll call it. Then you need your ID generation, and we're going to do that from a preferred label. So we select that. And then you have to select the repository type, and you've got the options of memory, native repository, and memory repository with RDFS inferencing. Um, if you want to be able to customize relationships later on, you need to be, do this one. But for now, we're going to just do the what they recommend when you do the quick guide for the quick project creation. So we'll cl click native repository, um, auto save every 10 minutes, and then we're ready. We create the project. And now you're ready to add concept schemes. And that is in another video. But um, just real quick, you would select the project node, right click it, and you can either do it from import, um, which again, we do this in another vi video, so you can import a pro project scheme, or you can create one on your own, like this. So, but you can watch the video on adding a facet, adding concept schemes and uh, top concepts to your project. That's it for this one.